Victor Hugo Perez Perez, he's a well-known anatomist from Mexico City that I first was introduced to him by an El Salvadorian neurosurgeon, uh, Cesar Wandique. Uh, and Victor has done a lot of webcasts on neuroanatomy and neuroanatomy is his passion and you'll be able to tell. Uh, so, okay, welcome Victor, it's all yours. Thank you, John. Okay. Sorry, we're a little late, Victor. Is ready? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's go to uh, have a picture, uh, have a lecture. Uh, this is a short lecture. Uh, I want sh to show you some uh, pictures and some videos about the middle cerebral artery. Uh, I have been doing this uh, work for about uh, 32 years. So uh, this kind of uh, brains have been injected in fresh uh, cadavers. Uh, so that's the reason we can see the, the tailored anatomy of uh, the brain. Uh, some of them have been injected in situ, but other ones, uh, I have been, uh, inject, they have been injected. Uh, can you hear me? Yes. Yes. John? Yes, yes. Can you hear me? Yes, we can okay. hear you. So uh, this is a, a brain injection and in, um, out of the corp, of course. So uh, I am injecting uh, uh, silicon uh, in the middle cerebral artery. So we can see in this uh, video the, the, um, the cortical the cortical arteries of the middle cerebral artery. Uh, this is the M4 segment. So this is a beautiful video uh, because uh, you can see arteries uh, uh, from uh, the tip of the temporal lobe uh, until uh, the tip of uh, the frontal lobe. So these uh, cortical arteries uh, have been described very, very well by uh, Dr. Roton. Um, they, they are almost uh, 12 uh, arteries in the cortical uh, segment of this uh, beautiful artery. The middle cerebral artery is very important because uh, in a surgical approach, uh, you should know uh, that uh, this uh, middle cerebral artery has uh, several segments and we need to avoid uh, damage uh, uh, for this, uh, for this uh, artery. This is the right side of uh, this brain. Uh, in here, uh, uh, there is a, um, a small rupture of the artery, but uh, I try to insist in injecting this brain in order to fill out uh, these uh, small arteries. So it doesn't matter if it, uh, if, if uh, uh, there is a rupture in these uh, arteries. So I try to push the injection in order to, to have uh, a nice uh, feeling of the silicon in these arteries. Uh, this is another uh, picture 
uh, we can see in here uh, the supraclinal carotid artery. Uh, we know that uh, this segment has, uh, two, has three arteries. Uh, the first one is the ophthalmic artery. The second one is the posterior communicating artery. Here it is the posterior pisicum. And this one is the anterior choroidal artery. And then we have the bifurcation of this uh, carotid artery in two branches, uh, the anterior cerebral artery and middle cerebral artery. Middle cerebral artery is the largest artery and the big artery in the brain. Um, this, uh, this is almost uh, four millimeters, uh, almost uh, twice uh, for the anterior cerebral artery. Here we have the optic nerves, the mammillary bodies, the infundibulum, tear cranial nerve, basilar artery. This one, the superior cerebellar artery and posterior cerebral artery, first and second segment. Uh, the middle cerebral artery is uh, the largest and most complex of the cerebral arteries. Some of uh, its branches are exposed in most surgical procedures in the supratontarial area. In the past, surgical interest in the middle cerebral artery has been directed at avoiding damage to its branches during operations within its territory. But microoperative techniques have now made reconstruction of and bypass to the middle cerebral artery to preserve and restore blood flow to the cerebrum. Here we have the frontal lobe, temporal lobe was cut, was removed, and we can see here the first segment of this middle cerebral artery and second segment, third segment, and fourth segment. This is the sphenoidal segment, M1, M2, insular segment, M3, opercular segment and M4, cortical segment. The middle cerebral artery arises as lar the larger of the two terminal branches of the internal carotid artery. You can see it here. The diameter of the middle cerebral artery could be from 2.4 to 4.6 millimeters, almost twice of the anterior cerebral artery. Its origin is at the medial end of the sylvian fissure in here, lateral to the optic chiasm. Here we have the optic chiasm, lateral is the beginning of the, this middle cerebral artery and below the anterior perforated substance. Uh, as it passes below the anterior perforated substance, like here, it gives rise to a series of perforating branches referred to as lenticular striates arteries. In other pictures, we are going to, to see these uh, beautiful, beautiful, very beautiful arteries. I am impressed about uh, these lenticular striates arteries. This uh, middle cerebral artery is divided in four segments, M1, M2, M3, and M4, the sphenoidal, insular, opercular, and cortical branches or segments. The M1 begins at the origin of the middle cerebral artery, M1 here, and extends laterally within the depths of the sylvian fissure, terminates at the site of a 90 degree. This is 90 degree turn, this one. So the, the, this artery terminates in this, in this uh, turn, not in the bif bifurcation, in this turn. So the henu located at the junction of the sphenoidal and operculo insular compartments of the sylvian fissure. This segment begins at the henu where the middle cerebral artery trunks passes over the lumen insulae and terminates at the circular sulcus of the insula. This is the second segment. 
the branches to the anterior frontal and anterior temporal areas crossed by anterior part of the insula. Uh, the M3 segment begins at the circular sulcus of the insula and ends at the surface of, uh, of the insula and ends at the surface of the sylvian fissure. This is the sylvian fissure. Why you see this uh, aspect of the cortex? of the cortex of the brain. Can you tell me what, uh, what is the reason you see this uh, brain in this uh, aspect? Okay, in here I remove the gray substance. So we are seeing in here the white matter of the brain. This is the, the sylvian fissure and here we can see the M, uh, M1, M2, M3 and M4. M3 segment. The branches directed to the brain above the sylvian fissure, like here, Undergo two 180 degree turns. The first turn is located at the circular solcos, where the vessels coursing upward over the insular surface turn 180 degrees and pass downward over the medial surface of the frontoparietal operculum. The second 180 degree turn is located at the external surface of the sylvian fissure, where the branches complete their passage around the inferior margin of the frontoparietal operculum and turn in a superior direction on the lateral surface of the front, frontal and parietal lobes. Uh, this is, uh, uh, this uh, picture is just to see uh, M1, M2, M3, M4, cortical cortical branches. But uh, this is also to see the uh, optic nerve, the optic chasm, and the, the and this uh, nerve uh, tract. Uh, the M4 is composed of the branches to the lateral convexity. They begin at the surface of the sylvian fissure and extend over the cortical surface of the cerebral hemisphere. The more anterior branches turn sharply upward or downward after leaving the sylvian fissure. The intermediate branches follow a gradual posterior incline away from the fissure and the posterior branches pass backward in nearly the same direction as the long axis for the fissure. Uh, Okay. Uh, look at this. Here we have the olfactory nerve, olfactory tract. This uh, M1, supraclinal carotid artery. The, this is the optic nerve, optic chasm, optic tract, this one. And these uh, beautiful arteries that are arising from M1 segment. So this is a block of a brain that was uh, dissected, uh, removing the gray substance. Uh, we can see in here the white fibers, the white matter, this one. And here we have the M2, segment of the middle cerebral artery. This is a cortical artery. It is the M4 segment. Another, another one.
and one and two uh, can you hear me john yes yes can we you can me? Yes. yes we can okay m2 m3 m4 in this in this uh, um, in this view you can see why this artery is considered the largest one because uh, it's the beginning and then look at this main trunk of this uh, middle cerebral artery here it is here 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 and here and then ends in the occipital lobe look the trajectory of this artery is the largest one The perforating branches of the middle cerebral artery and the, the anterior perforated substance are called the lenticular straight. This one are the lenticular straight arteries. Lenticular straight branches arise from the pre-bifurcation pre part of the M1 in every case and from the post-bifurcation post part of the M1 segment. Pre bifurcation and post bifurcation. Of the total number of lenticular straight branches, approximately 80% arise from the pre-bifurcation part of the M1. Most of the remainder arise from the post bifurcation part of M1 and a few arise from proximal part of M2 near the genu. Uh, let's go to see this uh, video about uh, the lenticulostriate arteries. They are in, in three groups, medial, intermediate, and uh, external group. These are, are medial. This one, is also, this is uh, just a, a question. Is this artery considered lenticulo straight artery? This one? And what about this? Look, this artery. It is going to choroid plexus, choroid plexus. So this artery is uh, known as uh, anterior choroidal artery. Here we have A1, A1, and this is a, this is a small artery. small branches to the optic nerve. Okay. Uh, the cortical area supplied by the middle cerebral artery is divided into 12 areas. Uh, orbitofrontal area, Prefrontal area, precentral area, central area, anterior parietal area, posterior parietal, angular, temporoccipital, posterior temporal area, middle temporal area, anterior temporal, and temporopolar area. So we should know that um, uh, anatomy 
is not the same as uh, pathological anatomy. So we should know what to do in case of uh, great lesions like this. This is a meningioma that uh, is displacing the, these uh, branches, uh, middle cerebral artery, anterior cerebral artery, and also the supraclinal carotid artery. So we should have uh, uh, care in order to avoid damage to the brain. So if we do a, a very care uh, pro surgical procedure to remove this uh, meningio, we could have uh, a very nice uh, uh, result. So in this case, I, am, uh, I was removing this, uh, this tumor, very big tumor. And at the end of uh, this surgical procedure, we can see this artery. Look at this. This is the supraclinal carotid artery, anterior and middle cerebral artery. So patient did uh, very well. And, uh, the tumor was uh, was uh, removed totally. This is a pre-surgical uh, axial tomography, and this is was in the postoperative image. Uh, this is another uh, another uh, picture. Uh, we can see in here uh, the supraclinal carotid artery, middle cerebral artery, bifurcation. Uh, to remembering, I, 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 I like you to remember that uh, the beginning of this artery is in the bifurcation of this uh, supraclinal carotid artery, and the end is uh, in this uh, 90 degree turn. So this is uh, known as uh, pre-bifurcation and post-bifurcation M1. And in this, uh, we have uh, the pons, the mesencephalon, the third cranial nerve, fourth cranial nerve. Here we have the posterior cerebral artery and uh, this is the P1 segment of this posterior cerebral arteries. Optic nerve, optic chiasm, and this is the mesencephalin. This is a close view of this. So this is a... Um, a short uh, lecture, but I think um, you can you can see the text. The text was taken of um, uh, article of uh, Dr. Rotton, and all the pictures, all the uh, and videos uh, are mine. So this is another nice picture. Uh, when you make a dissection in, in a brain, uh, I think that uh, you can learn uh, so much, not only anatomy, uh, but also how to do a surgical procedure. Uh, doing dissection, you can get uh, uh, some abilities to, to make surgery. So I think uh, in other lectures, uh, we can see uh, uh, another arteries. Uh, uh, I think uh, short, uh, short lectures, uh, you can make a, a collection of uh, each artery and uh, you can see when you have some doubts about uh, this artery. My objective, my main objective is to 
to show you a small videos in order to understand this uh, complex anatomy of the, the arteries. So thank you so much. Uh, uh, I don't know if you have uh, any question. Yeah, well, thank you very much, Victor. I'm just getting your page up here. Um, I, I've seen uh, you're very passionate about, about neurosurgery. Um, uh, you can hear me okay, Victor? Yes, yes, of yeah, course. Okay, and let me just open the floor for comments or questions. Any comments or questions from the panelists? Don't be afraid. De nuevo. Go ahead. Me escuchan. Go ahead. Andale, pues. Hola. Uh, buenas tardes, uh, Dr. Victor, y Dr. John y Dr. Marco. Eh, muy buena presentación y muy excelente trabajo que profesores lo mostraron ahora. Y bueno, para mí es muy interesante verlo esto y aprender. Y me gustaría otro momento también que usted nos da esa charla sobre cada arteria. Eso sería un placer y para durante ese tiempo de COVID podemos uh, adquirir esas habilidades, ver cada una de arteria y aprender. Y muy interesante, muy interesante. Muchas gracias. Yeah, but uh, it's much better your language. I know that you are from Syria. Uh, are you Pakistan. Syrian? Pakistan. Pakistan. So, Pakistan. Much, much better, much, much better your, your Spanish. <laughs> better, than, better than mine. <laughs> no, no, no. Bro, thank you, no. thank you. Bueno, muchas gracias. Y John, gracias a ti también. Okay. No da este plataforma para hablar. Muy placer. Otra pregunta es comentario. Or, or, or other questions or commentary? Yeah, I was going to ask you, Victor, do you have any quick videos you can show them latex injection? Or the, that's a long video. Uh, which one? You have a short one? You can Because I think some of the people have not seen your latex injection. Okay. Could you show us, you know, us one to give them an idea of how great it looks? Yes, of course. Yeah, and explain how le, it's le. done and how painstaking, how time consuming it is. Yes, yes, of course. Uh, let me, let me, let it's me. It's a bonus that people won't have to pay for this. It's a bonus. Yes, yes I think so. Yes. So uh, I think. Uh, um this is this is a uh, 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 um let me let me show you some of okay. this uh, for example uh, in um um okay 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 wait wait a minute wait a minute um okay just uh, okay okay <laughs> For example, uh, I think that um, it has been done too, too much work uh, about uh, uh, injections of uh, brain, but uh, in the spinal cord, I think there is no, no, no much uh, work in this area. So uh, this is uh, an injection of uh, spinal cord. Uh, in the venal system. So these uh, videos uh, are very useful uh, for the spine surgeons or uh, uh, especially. Now, does this have to be a fresh cadaver? Uh, uh, yes, Has yes, it, 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 it was made in, in a fresh uh, cadaver. Okay. Um, this is a very laborious uh, work because uh, first of all, you need to remove all the spinal cord and it's not easy. You have to put uh, all the all the vertebras, all the laminas in the in the back of the, the corp. And then after to remove this uh, this uh, uh, spinal cord and then to inject so um, you have to wash uh, you have to wash uh, very good the veins and also the arteries before you inject them 
-hmm. but um, the results are uh, very nice. Yeah. Like uh, like in this uh, video. That's the actual anatomy. Yes, I, I, I think they are they are very very nice. So um, let me let me show you another one. Uh, let me. Um, Let me let me see this one. Uh, this uh, okay. Okay, let me put this one. This is a, a, maybe a very heavy, uh, uh, here I am cutting the oncos, the medial part of uh, temporal lobe. Uh, I need to be careful in order to, in order not uh, to damage uh, other arteries and nerves. So this is uh, good because uh, we can see the optic nerves, uh, optic chiasma, supraclinal carotid artery. This is, P this is the posterior communicating artery and some uh, branches. Uh, this one is uh, the anterior choroidal artery. It was good in order to see the, the optic tract. So, I, I think these uh, these videos uh, are uh, useful for uh, our surgery residents. So I think that uh, we can work uh, uh, on topics of uh, vascular anatomy of uh, and also anatomy of the brain, parenchymal brain. Okay. Yeah. Okay, very good, Victor. Uh, I'd like to thank you very much. Sorry it took so long. I uh, hope we didn't take up too much of your day. And we look forward to seeing you. Uh, uh, you'll be speaking in uh, in uh, Saudi Arabia, correct? On that conference in Saudi. There's a neuroanatomy yeah. conference, I believe. Yes, yes, uh, with Dr. Uh, Ahmad Khanan. Right, the 12th yes. and the 13th. 
Yes, we'll yes. Be we'll be televising that. Yes, so. I, I, I'm going to talk about uh, veins, veins of the brain. Oh, okay. The ven venal system. Very good. We'll be seeing you then. Okay, Victor. Muchas gracias. Thank you so much. Um, okay, ciao, everybody. Ciao, ciao. Bye-bye. Okay. Yeah, the, the first conference, Victor, went really long. <laughs> yeah. Mark, what, what, can you, what can you do? Everybody, all the speakers are going, we say 20 minutes, but they're going 30, 35. No, I, I think that uh, if uh, you do, um, uh, for example, anatomy is, anatomy is uh, heavy. Anatomy is heavy. It's not it's easy. Fixed, fixed. So uh, yeah. anatomy is uh, much better to to give uh, 20 to or uh, 30 lectures um, in order to understand because anatomy is heavy most yeah. of the people do, do, don't want uh, to take uh, anatomy classes but yeah. uh, i am trying to make this different um, with uh, videos or 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 um, videos or pictures, uh, I think much better. Uh, what do you think, Marco Meloni, about uh, the short uh, lectures in anatomy, exclusively anatomy? Go ahead, Marco. Marco, you're there, right? Yeah, I'm here. Uh, well, uh, Dr. Uh, Rob, uh, I, I think uh, they are absolutely amazing. Uh, anatomy in particular for the neurosurgeon uh, is uh, uh, need to, to be interactive, uh, need to be uh, three-dimensional. Uh, three uh, so uh, study the neuroanatomy by book uh, is uh, definitely the basis, but then we need to, uh, to see in a uh, three-dimensional way. Yes, to, uh, yes. To uh, have also and that's, the, I think, the best to have the neuroanatomy explained by a neurosurgeon. So yes. one like you that uh, uh, understand what are the, um, uh, the um, what's need a neurosurgeon to know. So I, I absolutely, they are very beautiful. I, I appreciate mm -hmm. a lot your, uh, your lesson and uh, they are absolutely useful and um, uh, I encourage you to to carry on this uh, this presentation because yes, your 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 lecture was interesting. I followed I followed it uh, a complete a complete lecture. Uh, so uh, you you do nerve surgery. Uh, where are you from, Marco Meloni? Where uh, are you from? Uh, where? From Italy. Italy. Oh, okay. Yeah. You, okay. You live in Italy. North Italy. Yeah. yeah North yeah. Italy. Yeah. Oh. Close to yeah. Lake, Lake Como. Lake Como, right? Lake Como. I, I was in yeah. Lake Como. I was in Lake Como in the uh, surgery Eurospine uh, Congress. It was uh, made in Milan. It was held in Milan, Italy. So really, really nice uh, place. But now, uh, uh, badly, one of the uh, places yeah, that was uh, hit by COVID. Yeah, yeah he has yeah, some good stories about that. He has some stories about that. Yeah. Is it still really bad there, Marco? Is it still locked down and everything? Or is it getting uh, better? Well, now, now is a... Uh, a little bit better. We are in uh, the, our government uh, uh, start to the second phase. Second phase means that some activities are open, uh, like could be uh, some, um, uh, for example, uh, since uh, uh, until, until today we're uh, we're not allowed to move in other uh, in other town. Uh, for example, my my uh, girlfriend uh, uh, work in Milan, uh, one hour of car from me. Uh, I cannot see her since two months. Wow! 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 Yeah. 
It's now, incredible. Yeah, very, very hard, very hard. Uh, now uh, we are able to move uh, uh, to move uh, in uh, by town uh, by town to another town uh, inside the same region. So I mm. cannot, uh, for example, back to my parents in Sardinia because I I was born in Sardinia in a, one of the islands of Italy. Uh, but uh, I can uh, see again my my care friends because we are in the same region. Wow. So this is the phase. We need to uh, to stay two weeks. If there are not increasing of contagious, we cannot go to the third phase, and so there's going to be a reopening of the restaurant uh, of some. Uh, a crown activity, but with some uh, some uh, protection. So everyday mask, everyday uh, distance. Yes. So yes. finger cross, and uh, let's hope in uh, during the in the following two weeks uh, there are not uh, more contagion. On the contrary, I think the things can be even worse than uh, than before. So let's pray. Well, getting better, getting better. That's good. I hope. I hope. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Okay, everybody, we're going to end this. And Adnan, thanks for coming. Thanks, Victor. Thanks, uh, Ahanga. Una pregunta. Okay, eh, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, uh, Prof. Victor, ¿cuándo es la próxima charla de usted con los de Arabia Saudita? Uh, it's uh, 12, 12 and 13 of uh, this uh, month. So I think uh, uh, Dr. John Bennett has uh, published the. Sí. Okay. Sí, Adam, nosotros vamos a televisar yeah. un congreso de 12 y 13 SMS mm -hmm. de Saudi, okay. Saudi, de Saudi, 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 Saudi. neuroanatomía puro. ¿Verdad, Victor? Dos sí, días de neuroanatomía, ¿verdad? Yes, 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 yes. Ok. Ok, Muy nos bueno. vemos en este tiempo. We'll see you in that bueno, time. Nos vemos. Muchas gracias. Nos vemos. Ok, chao, thank everybody. You. Have, you. A, have you. a great day. Bye. Thank, bye. You. Bye. thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Let me get this.